It would be. So we were trying to find a way to get across the creek here. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> You're leaving that in. <laughs> Guys, so we are out here at White Gate Cemetery and we are exploring the old cemetery where the inmates of the West Virginia Penitentiary were buried whenever nobody claimed their bodies, whether they're family or friends. Their bodies were never claimed and they didn't actually get donated to the university. Uh, so they were buried here in marked graves. They were only marked by license plate material that was made into a makeshift grave marker in the license plate factory that was attached to their grave site by a signpost. It's really weird to actually see this out here. It's something that I don't think is, I don't think there's anything really like it that we found. So it's a really cool location and we're gonna be coming back here later with Steve uh, with us. And we're hoping that we're gonna be able to have some activity happen here. So, wow, that's really close. Oh. It would be. So we were trying to find a way to get across the creek here. Oh, I almost fell. You're leaving that in. <laughs> so we're trying to find a way to get across the creek because the water's up. Uh, so we're gonna try and make a stone bridge here so that we can walk across to the other side. The final resting place of these inmates wasn't left in a way that was very accessible. So, we want to be able to get over here to be able to see the inmates that are buried, but it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yes. Yeah. What's the plan here? We are going to throw some rocks to try to throw some stepping stones to get over to the cemetery since the water's pretty low. It's a good idea. Instead of going out and spending a bunch of money on waders. Why am I a failure at life? I don't know. This is a lot of fun. I mean, it's good to just be outdoors. It's something we haven't done in a long time because of the winter. We have this thing up here in West Virginia called snow in winter. And it, uh, I think it really helps us out to get outdoors and be able to do this type of stuff. So it's a lot of fun to vlog it and to put it up on our channel so that you all can join us in these adventures. And it's also cool that we get to see some spooky places. And this cemetery over here is definitely Cool, so when we get over there, you'll get some close-up shots of that. What's really sad is when you look at the grave markers out here that are made out of the license plate material and the signposts, uh, a lot of the actual markers have holes in them from where kids come out here and shoot them with pellet guns. Uh, or they're not even here at all. They're so faded by the sun you can't even tell who's buried here. Yeah, or they're falling off of the actual uh, signpost themselves. Uh, so it's not really very well taken care of. So it's almost like these individuals have been lost to time. They died in a place where not many people cared about them and here they are buried in a place where not many of them are cared for. So it's uh, it's weird that it all has come full circle like that and it's a really cool place to see if you've never been out here to Whitegate Cemetery.
Probably one of the more infamous people to be buried out here at White Gate Cemetery is Harry Powers, who was West Virginia's first mass murderer. He was actually convicted and executed for murdering two women and three children back in 1932. So if there'd be any figure, any person that is buried out here that would be I would say probably an undignified human being, it would probably be him. So when we come back here with Steve later, we're hoping that we can actually maybe come in contact with Harry Powers. That would be awesome. <laughs> so there's Dave, everybody. Look who joined us. We got Steve over here, and we are about to investigate here at Whitegate Cemetery. The sun's going down as you can see and we're gonna see what happens here. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be wild, it's gonna be cold, and it's gonna be spooky. Let's do this. They screwed up once, got caught in the wrong time, wrong place. Events like that and they uh, perish behind the walls. As Dave said, no one, no one cared enough about him, or maybe going back in, in older eras of time, they didn't. Uh, families didn't know where they were at. You know, people were always going back and forth between the east and west, and it's, it's hard to say. All right, here you go. So we got the REM pod set up, EVP session, Harry Powers grave, White Gate Cemetery. I'm not sure if you're here or not. But we know that your body's here. If you took pleasure in what you did to Mrs. Eicher and her three kids, Mrs. Dorothy Lemke, you make contact with that device that has a little red glowing light on it. If you enjoyed torturing and killing those people, those human beings. Harry Powers, it's been 86 years since they dropped you down through the trap door in the gallows and you hanged by your neck until you were dead. If you could tell us what you think about that on that device right there, that little glowing red light. Yeah, and you can see actually, if you look at all these different grave markers and grave sites, you can see how a lot of them are sunken in. Because over the years, I mean, they're buried in a pine box and wooden boxes will disintegrate and deteriorate just like our bodies will. And it looks as though they buried them in these wooden boxes. And over the years, the grave plots have just sunken in because of the box and what's inside the box have just turned to, turned to compost, turned to nothing. Maybe just tell us your name or maybe the first number to your inmate number. Can you do that? Did I say that in the room We'll give you just a few minutes of silence so you can say something if you'd like to. Go ahead. And you'd think, you know, this place obviously looking at it, it looks pretty, you know, run down, not really taken care of, so people were here, if there were spirits, you know, they'd maybe want to come forward and we speak, you know, curious about yeah. what we were doing. So. Yeah. I'd say not a lot of people make their way out here, so. Is everybody in? All right, so sure. we're going to end this vlog right here of White Gate Cemetery. It was a little bit of a boring investigation. We didn't get hardly any evidence, really. We'll play the recorders back and see what we get, but... It is a beautiful location to see and you saw from the drone visuals earlier and from the B-roll that we got. 
And it this, also proves you don't have to get something every time you go out. Right. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, you definitely want to visit Whitegate Cemetery. It is a beautiful location. It's a beautiful place to see. And uh, if you're willing to wade across the creek to get here, it is definitely a really cool sight to see. And uh, if you're visiting the West Virginia Penitentiary, come to Whitegate. Absolutely. Absolutely.